Okay, let's see. Today we are going to talk about some level design. First thing I'm going to do here is open up a Google, go to Google, and going to do a search for uh, level design top down. So let's take a look at these level design top downs. So in the in the process the process of level design, first thing to do is uh, top down. The next thing to do is a block out, and the last thing to do is a the art. So um, we take a look at this this top down here, okay? Um, and this one. <laughs> Uh, is a great example of how to uh, get a sheet of paper and a pencil and you draw out what the player is going to do and you do like a, a legend on the side. This is another one. This is a really good example. Best thing about doing this is that when you when you do your top down, um, it's before you get into Unreal or, and you can really kind of flesh things out and make changes. Just on paper, it's super quick. Once you get into the computer, it takes too long. <coughs> Let's see. Um, all right, so that is that. And uh, the next thing I want you to do is jump into Google and type in level design block out. All right, this is a really good example of a block out. Um, and um, basically, uh, when you block out a level, uh, what you're going to do is you use the the geometry in Unreal and you block it out like this. Now why is this good? Um, doesn't look very good but you're not looking for look, you're looking for like play testing, right? So you'll be able to like test door heights, jump heights, you know, uh, jump distance um, and just get a general like kind of feel for the game, alright? Now the next phase is going to be this. This is um, uh, as you can see here, it's going to be the art out phase. This is the art out phase. Now, you can see this is a level that was blocked out and then arted out, okay? Um, you want to do 90% of your testing um, to see if the game is fun in a block out and in a uh, top down. Um, this, when it comes to the art, adding art is not going to make your game any more fun. So that's the thing you focus on the least and the last, right? The fun is the most important thing. All right, so let's jump over to the Unreal Marketplace. Um, today I'm going to be having you guys download some assets from the Unreal Marketplace, add it to a level, and then um, and then go from there. So let's get a sign in going. Let me think. There we go. So while that's happening, I want you to um, open up the Epic Games Launcher or the Unreal Engine. And we're going to fire up the engine. All right, and when that's loading up, let's go ahead and look. What I want you guys to do is download a fantasy pack. Do a search at the top. You're going to download. Um, it's going to be free, so sort it by free. Here it is here. Uh, stylized fantasy pack, okay? Um, and I want you to download that. Or you'll, you'll, you know, download it, <clears throat> and then we're going to have you add it. And here's the launcher here. So what we're going to do is in the launcher here, you go to games. I want you to make a new game. Let's do a side scroller. Um, and choose your directory. What you 
want to save this too. Yeah. Oh. And then you're going to call this something like, oops, jumped out of my directory. Save this. You can call it like level design project. I already have some in there, so I'm going to call mine something different and create. All right, so that's going to be creating. Here I have my launcher. There it goes, launching in the background. All right, here we are. I'm just going to switch my layout to the default. All right, so in here, as you can see, we just have the normal assets. So I'm gonna jump over to the launcher and I'm gonna click on the fantasy pack here. Go down and find my project that I just created. Add to project. And that's gonna add those assets. It's not very many assets, so it shouldn't take very long. So this is a really cool way of getting um, assets from the Unreal Engine. While this is downloading, I'm going to jump back over here. Um, the Unreal Engine Marketplace, um, they have like a lot of free for the month assets. Also like a ton of free ones. So like, you know, and you can switch between them. Like environments is really cool. This allows you to like build spaces. Um, it's a lot of art. A lot of the stuff's free. Um, or it's like you know cheap or whatever um, as you can see I own some of these you know let's get another one uh, AccuCities textured sample that's kinda cool actually I don't have this one apartment tech props maybe I'll need that in the future I'll add it to my cart come over here to the cart check out it's loading my order it looks like I ordered it so that now I own and I'll have that in the future. Um, these are all really cool. D-E-K-O-G-O-N. D-E-K-O-G-O-N. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Um, anyway, yeah, so you can you can get a bunch of assets. They're really cool. Epic Mega Grants, interesting. So these are Epic Mega Grants recipients. Um, I spoke about that in our first video. Um, you know, you can get a grant from Epic to do cool stuff. All right, let's jump back over here. All right, so once those downloaded, I can come over here to where it says stylized assets. Um, but first, let me just talk a little bit about 2D. So if I hit play, this is a 2D side scroller. I'm sorry, a, a side scroller. I can hit F11 on my keyboard. It will make it fit full screen. Um, so this is a side scroller. The difference between a side scroller and a 2D side scroller is uh, this is like actually 3D. Um, everything about here is 3D. The camera's just pointed in a two, um, in a side view towards the character. But the like a 2D side scroller would be actually like the assets inside are not 3D. They're like 2D. So like drawings. So I'll hit F11 again and escape to stop. Um, now, what I want to do, what I want you guys to do, the assignment that I'm going to give you, is to take this space, okay, and I want you to remove some of this stuff out of here. Yeah, we don't need any of this stuff. And I want you to add other stuff. And you can even delete the... Yeah, you can even delete all that. And I want you to swap all this out for like, see how there's shadows here on the ground? You can go up to build, build lighting only, and it will rebuild the lighting when you get all your stuff in. You can also add lights by over here. There's lights. And once the shadow is done computing, that should go away. There it goes. And the reason you see a shadow on this guy is because it's a real-time shadow. If everything had real-time shadows on it, it would be much more expensive in regards to computer processing power. So anyway, uh, I click on this stylized provincial, go over to filters, static mesh. <clears throat> now in here, I can go down to view options and slide this slider up. And now I have all these props in here, okay, added from that 
uh, that pack, that fantasy pack, right? And um, so let's start to add some props in. I want you guys to build me a scene um, of the character doing some cool, with some stuff to do, right? So let's pull some stuff in. All right, here's a crate. So it's literally drag and drop. Uh, so you can bring stuff in. I can hit F to zoom right on it. Uh, you can hit W, E, R when it's selected. Uh, w is move, R is, uh, E is rotate, and R is scale. Okay. Um, now I can move this stuff around. If I hold Alt on my keyboard, I can copy it. Okay. Um, and I, I want you guys to build stuff right so build me out a scene where the player can do stuff right whoops that sucks now I can't go back that's no bueno but uh, anyway you get it right um, but use all these assets here build me out a cool scene and uh, yeah it should be really cool it's literally just drag and drop um, also put stuff in the in the background as well um, you know, like background and then mid background and then foreground and you can even put stuff in front of the camera That's like really up close like at the bottom or whatever to create like some depth right and then of course <clears throat> Yeah, so yeah build me out something really cool and uh, yeah